She is confident. She's super smart. Courageous, impeccable character, transformational leader. I have known Teresa all of her adult life. I met her when she was an undergraduate student at the University of South Carolina. The presidential interns were elite students and she stood out among them. She's successful because of her values that were instilled in her by her parents, by her grandparents, and then that wonderful village. Other than my parents, um, there's two people that have impacted me the most of my life, and, and one was my high school football coach, and the second one was Teresa Wilson. I felt like I was a good police chief. She has elevated my game. She's made me a better police chief, but she's made me a better person. You would want your Girl Scouts to look at her as a role model, as a mentor, and if they follow her example, they'll be successful as well. She has impeccable character. That character is the foundation that everything else flows from with her, how she cares about her employees, how she carries herself personally and professionally. She's just very intuitive. The city manager's job is a very, very big job, very complicated, very nuanced, and it requires a very skilled individual. She's not afraid to surround herself with people who are smarter than her in certain areas so that the job can get done. She's accountable to herself, to her employees, to her family, and to the public. And I don't think you can ask more from a, a public servant than that. I grew up here in Columbia, really Irmo. Education, you know, was a big part of what the expectation was with my parents. I do have a very strong work ethic. I would have to attribute that to watching my parents work hard, watching my grandparents work hard. I had always said that I thought I wanted to be a judge or I wanted to, you know, definitely go to law school. And so I got to law school and I didn't honestly enjoy it that much my first year. And so I was like, Dad, I think I should switch. I really like higher ed administration. I said, and they were like, yep. Nope, you're gonna, you got, you're gonna finish what you started. <laughs> you're gonna finish law school because you don't have to use your law degree in a traditional way. And I did, because I've always trusted their guidance. And it did get better. I realized I did want to advocate, but I wanted to do it in a different way. And so that's when I actually went back to USC and started working. And one of my tasks that I was assigned was city government. Girls who want to lead early on have to begin to know who to surround themselves with that are meaningful, and that's hard. So you may not feel comfortable doing something. You might be stepping out on a little faith, but it's usually going to be okay. And the reason it's okay is because you have that village around you. I've always been a member of Delta Sigma Theta sorority incorporated since college. That is a lifetime commitment that we take seriously. I'm also a member of The Lynx, which is a national um, organization of women based in friendship and service. The Junior League of Columbia, very special organization to me for a long time. My why right now is that Columbia is on a tremendous trajectory of growth. We don't have to be a Charlotte or a Greenville or Charleston. We're going to be who we are. Ms. Wilson, thank you for being who you are and being the uh, inspirational leader that, that has meant so much to me. Congratulations on being recognized for this prestigious award. Teresa, I am so very, very proud of you. You know you're my baby. Keep on doing what you're doing, girlfriend. You are now my mentor. I can now learn from you and I love you.